Okay, let's go over the ingredients for tornado development. What do you need? Well, you need warm, moist air colliding with cold air. You also need what we call wind shear, and that's winds different directions. Now, normally, you have a different wind direction from a surface wind as opposed to winds aloft, and that can create a little rotation. So, in other words, the thunderstorm can rotate, and as it rotates, it has the potential for dropping down a tornado. Not every rotating thunderstorm drops down a tornado, but you need that for that spin, that vorticity, if you will. And if you look around, you see the debris flying. That's the number one cause of injuries. Why we say, please get away from windows, get to an interior room, a basement if you can, because the debris is what the, really the problem is. Now, this Mayfield tornado, incredible. This kind of blew my mind. So Doppler radar picked up debris 30,000 feet in the air called a debris ball, and you can actually see it on Doppler radar. There were pictures and notes found in central Indiana from this Kentucky storm. That is incredible. So again, the December tornado is not super unusual, but the intensity and power of this one was.